The warrior's dance was performed only by the warrior. The dance comprises of movements which you see depicts their preparation for the battle. The dance is led by a commander who devises all the battle plans and the strategy. The leader is making sure that the warriors are getting ready and prepared for war. In the Nokin Putter Yar, the commander is considered as the chosen one and he represents the group or his army whenever a single soldier or warrior has to fight against the enemy representative. He was given the title of Riko Nova. The attires and ornaments worn by the men warriors here are very significant because they are made with fetters and horns of animals and birds. The costumes are very meaningful for the warriors.
the Warriors Dance Lokin Katar Yar by the Kunsa Culture Club representing the Ao Cultural Troupe. Ladies and gentlemen. The County Range Cultural Troop representing the Ringma Nagas of Nagaland will present now to us. A folk dance called Ben Gise. Ben Kese is a traditional way of dancing and jumping generally performed on festive occasions and successful head hunting rates. In the tradition of our ancestors, there was nothing more exciting than for a warrior to get the maximum heads of enemies as war trophies. This war dance depicts a particular village celebrating the victory by dancing and jumping fully dressed in traditional attire.
ladies and gentlemen, the Rengma Cultural Troupe with Ben Gese, a folk band. He's hoping that he can find something. He gets his gun ready. The gun is loaded. He waits patiently. His patience has his patience has blessed him with a very large animal. When he is successful, the villagers come to him and help him out to bring the animal to the village. The head of the animal is usually the pride of the hunter. The villagers are really pleased. The hunter and the villagers has just marched into their village and he will be meeting the village chief. He declares He declares his dominance over the rest of the villages when it comes to hunting. This is an age-long tradition of showing dominance over the others when it comes to a successful hunt. To, to acknowledge his successful hunt, he is offered by Jew. 
of the local rice beer. Alongside him, he also has his company of villagers, the young men who have gone to carry the bountiful hunt. The hunter jumps around the lifeless animal. This shows his superiority over the animal. He declares that he is the dominant one. This age-old tradition is followed by songs and dances to mark the reception and the celebration of this bountiful and successful hunt. Ladies and gentlemen, from New Chalcourt, Parent District, the Cookie Cultural Troupe, with their presentation of the Savai Lun, a display of a grand reception of a hunting expedition.
any festival. The Nyo Kro Kebel song is usually sung by the Angamis. This song is sung in groups when they work in the field during the time of cultivation. Welcoming next and performing for us here at the main arena we have from Visama village representing the Angami tribe of Nagwin with their performance of a folk song called Nyokro Kebe. The women folk of the Angamis are heading out to the field. It is, it is believed that singing songs helps them enable to finish their job, their cultivation, without giving in much thought to how much they have to suffer to cultivate. The songs help them to fight through the hardship and eases the physical pain that one has to go through while working in the fields.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Angami Cultural Troupe from Wisema Village performing for you their traditional folk song. No Hurley is a folk song of the Chakisang tribe of Nagaland. Ladies and etc. During festivals and special occasions, the men folk used to go to these places and sing Nohali in praise of the girls. So it's more like the men folk trying to charm the girls. So a special occasion is happening and the men folk are going to the Morong. Hey, hey. 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 Hey.
自己啊，过日子的嘞，还过都是寂寞时代呢。啊，是的的，还过你过日子过啥不是好？你没过，为了奔到了那个，为了去奔到那个，为了这个这那了那个。你讲么子啥的么？别哈个一日多日的，没哈哈来哈只天没黑着，不是呢？哈个自己有点累到啥的嘞？我们老百姓咯，哈个是苦的。哈个自己，你讲么老百姓的钱是咋么？少几万的。So the men folk. Are asking the ladies, the women folk, if they can come and visit them. But the women are saying, "No, you can't come today." Hamola, hakura kunere la beno, hakutuzi hakutuzi na le. Oh, ni akuton le deso, tuzi akuku kuhu tamo. Ladies and gentlemen, Noheli, a folk song by the Middle Komi Village Cultural Troupe representing the Chakisang Nagas.
Sirolo is a dance of joy. This dance is performed by young men folk during leisure time after the completion of all domestic chores assigned to them for the day. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lota Cultural Troupe will present to us now Sirolo, a dance of joy. The men folk are done with their chores for the day assigned to them and now they are gathering to dance expressing their joy as they have finished their work for the day. People from all age group gather to watch them perform like we are watching them now. Their leisure time is coming to an end. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lota Cultural Troop. Following the performance by the Lota Tribe of Nagaland, we have the Benrio Students Union Koima Dance Troop. This 
is the Skylark dance. In the local dialect, this dance is called Raina. This dance tries to imitate the Skylark bird. Inspired by the beauty of this bird, the young Handsome boys and beautiful girls dressed in their finest attires cheerfully dance, copying the skylark. The formation of this dance also closely represents the different formations that the skylark bird hovers in the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, the Roina, the skylark dance of the Zilian Nagas.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Skylark Dance, performed by the Benrio Students' Union Koima Dance Troupe, representing the Zilian tribe of Naglin. Our last performers for this morning's program are from Dimapu, the ethnic performing arts representing the Sumi tribe of Naglin. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sumi cultural troupe are entering from the right and they will be performing for you a Sumi folk dance called Apila Kuo. This dance is usually performed during the Feast of Merit or on important occasions such as the festivals that the Sumis of Nagaland celebrate. The Apila Kuo is not performed together with the women folk. Usually, this whole dance of the Sumis is performed separately. The men would perform separately, whereas the women folk would also perform this dance, but separately.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Apila Pool being performed by the ending performing arts for the Pool, representing the Sumi tribe of Nagaland. With that, we end with the morning session of Cultural Connect. The afternoon session will commence from 1 p.m.